Not long ago, I overheard a tri-state police officer saying he and his colleagues almost never come across cocaine. The drug they see most often now is heroin. Once the scourge of the 40s, 50s, and 60s, heroin is back. And though it has an inner city reputation, experts say it's gone suburban, even rural, perhaps next door to you. Like the young man you're about to meet. Now, we've concealed his identity at his request. Cooking up in a spoon, it's what many heroin addicts do, what they live for, dream about, the God they worship. First thing you thought about in the morning when you got up? First thing, it's a shot of dope. Um, I mean, you put it before everything. You put it before uh, work, school, um, all priorities you know, out the window. Um. His name is Steven in his early 20s, addicted to heroin for two years. His addiction started with pain pills prescribed after a motorcycle accident. But the pills quickly lost their potency, and he turned to heroin, first snorting, then injecting it. Stephen has been in rehabilitation five times, jailed three times in the last year. He says the drug has robbed him of his self-esteem and loaded him with guilt. So I've stole from my family. Uh, I've stole their jewel necklaces, rings, um, iPods, DVDs. You don't ever want to be sick. You know, being sick is the worst thing, and um, you'll do anything not to get sick. I was spending probably a hundred to hundred and fifty dollars a day. For how many times? Oh, probably four or five times a day. The needle tears the hole. Stephen's addiction brought him up I-471 to the Pendleton neighborhood. Says he'd been here buying drugs at three in the morning. Even got mugged here. I know what you're thinking. That would never happen to the people I know, right? But just listen to the addresses one expert has heard at his recovery center. It's Fort Thomas, Newport, Covington, Fort Mitchell, Villa Hills. Jeff Duell runs treatment centers in northern Kentucky for many of the people who end up on these main streets looking for a fix. Says you'd be surprised at who comes to him for help getting sober. We have a soccer mom. We have a young white male who comes from a very good family in Fort Mitchell. Um, so it's, it's not isolated to, say, inner city. What have I become? Duell says the rise of heroin came with changes in OxyContin that make the drug hard to use for a high and too expensive. And he says heroin use continues to grow. But Stephen is fighting the drug. He says he hit rock bottom when he nearly killed a man in a car crash. Now he wants to be clean. The outcome is far from certain. I'm telling myself I'm sick of going to jail. I'm sick of being an outcast in society, you know, being labeled as a drug addict. I'm hoping that, that a part of him telling his story with you is going to be further help for him and will keep him on that road of recovery. I, I just don't know. We originally intended to share some numbers that would reveal the scope of the heroin problem. Then we got an email from a Cincinnati mother with a personal interest in our reporting on the heroin issue. She writes, it is an unpleasant and unpopular topic and most people have many misconceptions. My husband and I have blended and raised our five boys together. My youngest son is 26 and has been an addict for almost eight years. He has so much to offer this world, but he cannot quit. It's heartbreaking, and we agree.